Hello, this is another video tutorial on how to use PH dot for Pearson correlation. Pearson correlation is a statistical method that is under simple linear regression. Pearson correlation is a statistical method that is used to determine if there is a linear relationship between two variables that are measured at least in the interval level, such as in this specific example, if uh, one wants to know if there's a relationship between weight and serum cholesterol. The question can be formed in these three uh, possible ways, like is weight associated to serum cholesterol, or does the person's weight affect serum cholesterol, or is there a significant relationship between the person's weight and serum cholesterol? The independent variable in this case is the weight and the dependent variable is the serum cholesterol. The other name for the independent variable is the predictor variable or the control variable. Weight is controlled here or we will use weight as a predictor of the uh, dependent variable serum cholesterol which is also known as the product variable. After finding for the Pearson product moment of correlation, we will also test if uh, R is significant in the population. So we have to conduct the hypothesis testing. In hypothesis testing, again, we will start with the null and the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis would be there is no significant relationship between weight and serum cholesterol. The alternative hypothesis would be there is a significant relationship between weight and serum cholesterol. We will use alpha equals 0 0.05 or alpha is known as the level of significance. Let's look at the column of weight and serum cholesterol. Weight is uh, a ratio variable and serum cholesterol is also a ratio variable where the values are measured in the ratio levels. Now, let us find the Pearson R. Click Add Ins, PH dot, then go to Regression, and under Regression, choose Simple Linear Regression. Recall that our dependent variable or the y variable in the example is the serum cholesterol and the x variable which is the independent variable is the weight thus okay we click this and highlight the serum cholesterol and all the values under this column and for the x variable which is the independent variable we will highlight the weight and all the values under this column then tick this box then consider also 95 percent confidence level for regression coefficients tick the box regression statistics table ANOVA and coefficients table tick scatter plot to check also if the plot shows a, line, a linear trend because uh, Pearson correlation can only be used if there is a linear relationship between the two variables. Then we click OK. So before we uh, consider the values in the compute sheet, let's check the scatter plot. Now, this is the scatter plot between x and y, where x again is the weight and y is the um, uh, serum cholesterol. And it shows that there is a linear trend. The scatter plot shows that there is a linear trend between the two variables. Thus, we can use Pearson correlation and interpret the value of R. Multiple R or R is known as the Pearson product moment uh, coefficient okay, or also known as Pearson R which is 0 0.2870. The sign is positive thus the direction is also positive. A positive uh, direction means that when X increases Y tends to increase also or 
as weight increases, which is the independent variable, which is x in our example, the serum cholesterol tends to increase also. In terms of the strength, it is 0 0.2870. Recall that the values of R ranges from negative 1 to positive 1. When R is equal to 0, there is no uh, relationship between the two variables. When R is equal to 1, there is a perfect correlation, positive perfect correlation between the two variables. When R is exactly equal to negative 1, there is a perfect negative correlation. When the value of R is 0.5 or close to positive 0.5, the strength is moderate. When it is close to 0, it is or the strength is weak. And that is also the same for negative values of R. When R is close to negative 0.5, the strength is moderate. When it is close to 0, the strength is weak. So in this case, there is, since 0 0.2870 is close to 0.5, we can describe the relationship as moderate, which explains how many percent of y can be uh, explained by x or how many values in uh, the serum cholesterol can be explained by x. We will multiply r by 100, thus 0 0.0824 times 100 would give us 8.24 percent, meaning 8.24% in Y or 8.24% of the total values in Y can be explained by X or by the values in X or 8.24% fits the model or the linear model. Now, uh, to test if R is significant in the population, let's look consider this table. This is the p-value, which is 0 0.0038. Recall that when the p-value is less than 0 0.05, the decision is to reject the null hypothesis. Or, if we use the t-test, uh, the T statistics is 2.9656. Compare this to the critical value. We can find the critical value here, which is 1.9845, which means that it is also greater than the critical value. The T value falls in the critical region. Thus, the decision of reject the null hypothesis, meaning the conclusion here that R is also significant in the population. In the population, we can now conclude that there is a significant relationship between the variable weight and uh, serum cholesterol level. That as weight increases, the serum cholesterol tends to increase also. So, this ends my tutorial in Pearson Correlation. Thank you.